So over here we see the Ubuntu running on phones. And basically, um, um, it's the same Ubuntu that runs on desktop and NTV, uh, but now it's uh, with a whole new design uh, optimized for small touchscreens. Uh, so what you see over here is a, um, a, a personal visualization of your data, which gives a very personal touch. So for example, I see my uh, tweets uh, over the last months, and it's very nicely visualized and gives a very personal touch to my phone. What you also see is that there are no buttons, right? No hard key buttons, no soft key buttons. And the reason is that uh, Ubuntu is designed around uh, the edges of the screen. Every edge has a specific purpose. So, for example, I use the left edge and go immediately to, to, to favorite apps, right? You also go to the home screen, unlock the phone, there you go. And the reason is that many people use 10 to 15 apps uh, most frequently. And that's what they can do by using the left edge swipe, right? Home screens, my personal stuff, my apps that are running, uh, my video basically. Uh, home screen, oh, I'm, I'm doing it upside down, which is a bit, uh, I go to the gallery app. Go back there. Home screen, uh, my people, right? So all my contacts and also my music. So for example, in context, and this really cool thing about Ubuntu, is that we have uh, web apps and native apps uh, as, as Eagle citizens. So when you look at Launcher, for example, Gallery is a native app, Facebook is a web app. And you, you will see, for example, here in the context, that that's, even though it's a web app, the status update is integrated in the context. So when I click here, I go immediately into, into the browser, into the web app, see? So it has all the benefits of a, of a, uh, of a normal, normal native app as well. Gallery app, there you go, this is a gallery app. This is, na this is a native application, uh, and with native application you want to have the benefit of fast performing stuff, right? So a gallery can have multiple, multiple pictures. Um, one of the core design principles here is that uh, the experience is optimized for content. I don't see any controls. Um, so when you start scrolling, everything goes away. Just a whole screen dedicated to content, right? For example here, photos. Events, but when I start scrolling, everything goes away. When I open a picture, still it's the full, the full screen is dedicated to the content. When I want to do something with the picture, use the bottom edge swipe to reveal controls. Edit, for example, or share. I can go back or even hide it again, right? And they go back, back in the gallery app. What we also saw is that many, many people are, uh, when using apps, they want to change the setting, change Wi-Fi, change sound, change uh, brightness from the screen. And then on many phones, you have to go back to the home screen, go to the settings menu, change, find the setting. We provide a much faster way of doing that. And that's what the top edge does. Top edge, messages, uh, sounds, battery, right? Bring it back down, change something, bring it back up, back, back in my app. For example, also messages. Uh, oh yeah, messages, right? Aggregate a few of the messages, I can reply to a message, uh, call back a person, bring it back up, back in my app. And last thing is the right edge. It allows to sw switch very fast between apps. So for example, over here, go back to my camera, back to my notes app, back to my gallery app, right? So it allows very fast uh, switching between apps. Go here, back to the home screen, and I'm there.